Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another achievement guide in Untitled Goose Game. Today we are going for the achievement, the pub, quickly, in which we need to complete the pub to-do list before the church bell rings. Which means that we will need to complete the to-do list in 7 minutes or less. You can check your progress of the to-do list by pressing the back or select button to open the to-do list, and if you have done one of the tasks before the church bells have rang, they will show a little red bell next to them. After the church bells have rang, this red bell will go away, so if you're wondering if they have rang, or not already, you can always check this to-do list to find out. And if you don't get the to-do list done within the allotted seven minutes, you can always just reset the area, which will also reset the church bells so you can try again. Everything on the list will need to be done without resetting because resetting will also reset the church bells and the achievement progress. You are only able to do this achievement after you have finished the game and brought the golden bell back to your home. As far as the achievements for completing a specific area before the bell rings, this one is not too bad. The strategy for this one is going to be completing all of the tasks in the upstairs pub area first and then completing the tasks in the bottom grassy area of the pub second. And once we are ready to start, make your way over to the pub area, and then select the reset from the pause menu so that the church bell timer is reset and we can start the achievement. We are going to start by entering the pub by distracting the burly man guarding the gate. Once inside, we're going to head upstairs to the main pub area and attempt to steal a pint glass from one of the tables. Next, head down the further west set of stairs, walk towards the entrance to the pub to get the burly man's attention, and once he starts to chase after you, go under the goose-sized hole in the deck. Once you make your way out of the deck, leave the pub and head towards the river. And all we need to do from here is drop the pint glass in the river. Next, make your way back into the pub and up the stairs to the main pub area. To the right, there is a candle. Go ahead and grab it and make sure you don't get caught by the lady guarding the pub. And then once you are able to not be seen, climb down the stairs, and then make your way under the deck near the back gate of the pub. Since we're in the back area, let's go ahead and place the candle on the table. Next, we're going to go back up the stairs to the main pub area and get the remaining items. If the lady guarding the pub is currently distracted, go ahead and turn on the faucet so that we can eventually get the boat. Then grab the pepper shaker from one of the tables, and then find the part of the fence where some of the spokes are broken. Drop the pepper through this hole and onto the ground, and then grab the fork from underneath one of the tables. Go back to the hole in the fence and drop the fork down as well. Next up, we're going to be going to grab the knife in the cart at the top of the pub. But if the sink is overflowing and you can grab the boat, go ahead and do that now.
Then let's go back to grabbing the knife. From here, you can either drop the knife down through the hole in the fence, or you can just walk down the stairs and into the back area where the table is. Once again, place the knife on the table, and then let's go back for the other items, just beneath the hole in the fence. There is also a plate located inside the broken refrigerator. Go ahead and grab it and set it on the table. Now we just need to go back for the fork and bring it to the table to complete the task. On your way out of the back area, grab a tomato from the box on the floor. Set it just outside the back area's gate, and now we're going to wait for the old man to play his harmonica and sit on his stool. As soon as he starts the sit down animation, pull the stool away from him and he will fall onto the floor, completing the task. Now we're going to make our way over to the entrance of the pub to get the burly man's attention. Walk back over to the space under the deck that leads to the back area. When the man can't find you, he will see the tomato and go to put it back in the box in the back area. Once he has opened the gate, run up the stairs to the main pub area and go to the back of it. Here you'll find a bucket sitting on the ledge just above the burly man. Press the grab button to tip it over, and it will fall on his head, completing the task. Now we need to antagonize the old man in the blue hat once again by honking at him when he tries to throw the dart and breaking the dartboard. The last thing we need to do is walk over to the platform near the two ladies with the flower. Just repeat what they tell you to do in the order of honk, crouch, and then flap. And then they will award you the flower and the task is complete. And if you have managed to do this in under seven minutes, you will also get the achievement. As well as the achievement for crossing out everything on the to-do list. If you have gotten all of the other achievements, completed the to-do list in each of the areas on the first run, finished the game, and unlocked the three other achievements for doing the certain areas quickly. Alright, that is going to do it for me guys. Wait, wait, what? There's a reward waiting for me? At home? Well, I guess we gotta go back there and find out what it is. Alright, I made it back home. Where's this so-called reward? Hmm, I wonder if it's this box with a red ribbon on it. I guess let's open it and find out. What? A crown? Well, at least they've got good taste. But I can't even wear this thing. Or can I? Uh, 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 uh.